YouTube is Gabriel, there's another fan TV, back after another video. If you like the content of these videos, go ahead and hit the uh, like button. If you like the content of the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Let's get into it, man. Big news for the Ravens. They have officially re-signed Justin Houston today. Uh, one year contract for the veteran. And this was an absolute must need as a necessity that the Ravens re-sign Justin Houston, just because he seemed to be the most likely candidate that they were going to sign the outside linebacker, all right? Now, we know the Ravens have a massive need at pass rusher right now, especially coming off the tragic passing of uh, Jalen Ferguson, okay? And obviously, you know, his passing is much bigger than football and, you know, prayers to his family and things like that. Um, as for the Ravens, um, it did leave a hole in the roster, you know? And Justin Houston is a guy where he had, he was here last year, he played well last year, and now um, he's back, okay? So Justin Houston last year had four and a half sacks, which is really good. We needed all of them. You know, we didn't have a tremendous pass rush. So he was a guy that was really consistent last year. Four and a half sacks for a guy his age, we'll take it all day. That's good numbers. You know what I mean? So we're, I'm hoping Justin Houston has, doesn't have to play a bigger role this year as he did last year. But he was still a guy that was needed with his veteran uh, expertise, his uh, his mentoring of you know, Odafe Owe, Ojabo, De La Hayes, uh, even Tyus Bowser. These guys all took to Justin Houston and went to him for advice. So just from a leadership standpoint, having him back in the building is massive. It's very important. So I'm glad that the Ravens got this move done. It absolutely needed to be done. There's no way around it. They needed to resign outside. They needed to sign an outside linebacker and resign somebody who's already familiar with Baltimore, already wanted to be here. And Justin Houston is a plus plus. Okay. Now, we signed Justin Houston isn't just like, um, well, you know, he's just another guy in the locker room days like that. Like I said, four and a half sacks last year. He had a PFF grade of 77.8, which was 19th amongst all edge rushers. So we're talking about Justin Houston, who was, I believe, 33 years old, having a top 20 PFF grade among edge rushers. So he was still productive um, out there on the field. So it's not like they, they just signed somebody to be a another coach. Like, no, this is a guy who's going to help the Ravens who's going to play. Okay. 18 combined QB hits and sacks, 23rd uh, among all edge rushers. And he led the Ravens with 17 QB hits. Okay. Um, so Justin Houston, he, like I said, he played well last year. This isn't a, oh, he's just somebody that the young guys look up to. While he is that, he's somebody that the Ravens desperately needed on this team. Um, the Ravens, um, before everything happened, were already slim and outside linebacker. And, you know, they only got slimmer, obviously. So right now, currently as it stands, the Ravens have Dustin Houston, Adafi Owe, Tyus Bowser, David Ojabo, uh, Dalen Hayes, Stephen Means, Vince Beagle, Jeremiah Moon, and Chuck Wiley as the current outside linebackers on this roster. Now, to start the season... Because we're expecting Tyus Bowser and um, Ojabo to miss. You know, I'm, I'm just going to say four to eight weeks. I don't know. I feel like they could come in anywhere in between that kind of timetable. Maybe even after. We'll see. But I'm feeling like four to eight weeks. All right. Um, so the guys that we're going to have healthy day one. Justin Houston, Odafe Owe, Dalen Hayes, Vince Beagle. Now, Steven Means is on here. Jeremiah Moon is on here. Chuck Wiley is on here. I don't know enough about Chuck Wiley, so I'm not, I can't really speak to him. But I know Jeremiah Moon is a rookie outside linebacker who was an undrafted free agent who's been making some waves at the at training camp. Big guy, 6'5", 250 pounds. There's always an undrafted guy who makes a team. Jeremiah Moon could be that guy, okay? Dalen Hayes has been a star of the offseason. I mentioned Dalen Hayes in plenty of videos. He's made an impact in, these off, in this offseason so far. Now, going into training camp, I expect to hear more of the same from Dalen Hayes because he just keeps progressing and getting better and better. Barring no injury, I expect a good, good year from Dalen Hayes, okay? Um, so, uh, Stephen Means. Now, I may be about Stephen Means. Like, last year he had no sacks. He played a lot of snaps for the Atlanta Falcons. But he could be a guy who makes the team. Honestly, he really could be just because of the simple fact that, you know, the Ravens did lose an outside linebacker. And also, Steven Means has been here on the Ravens before. So he, the Ravens like to bring back, bring guys back around who have been around the Ravens who know the culture, know the philosophy. 
even though sometimes the coaches may change for the Ravens, the philosophy really doesn't change that much. So Stephen Mays is a guy who's been here before, and they might like that about him, all right? The way he got on the team was via tryout. So he obviously, he did something well in the tryouts to make the Ravens want to extend the offer and sign him, all right? Now, um, I still think the Ravens are light outside linebacker, honestly, I really do. Uh, that's just my that's my opinion. If they could sign one more guy, one more veteran, um, I'll feel better. Now, I don't know how the cap works out in terms of signing another veteran. I don't know if they have enough space to do so. But I would still like to see J.C. Pierre-Paul on this team, still. Now, that may not happen, uh, but I think the Ravens, Justin Houston was a big, big signing, getting him back because they needed to get an outside linebacker. I still think they need another guy, too, as well. Um, just because and on, on this defense, I think it's going to be a lot of rotation. And I don't want to have the Ravens depend on Justin Houston to play a lot of snaps, especially early on in the season. Because, like we say repeatedly, Ojabo and Tyus Bowser are going to be out, especially early on in the year. And to have Justin Houston run down early on in the season, that's something that I want to see. I think Dalen Hayes will get plenty of snaps. Vince Beagle will get plenty of snaps. But Justin Houston may end up still playing too much, even with that rotation. So if they can sign one more guy, I would feel better about that. But overall, this was a move that the Ravens need to, needed to do. Um, obviously, they signed Justin Houston to that free agent tender a while back. Um, I think it had about, I think it was going to come due on the 22nd. So he signed, you know, he signed it way before then. And um, now we're here. So the Ravens needed a guy, Justin Houston, I, I believe, liked playing for the Ravens, like being here at the organization. And he views this as a chance to win the Super Bowl. You got to think that, right? So why not resign with the Ravens if you're going to play again another season? So I'm happy that Justin Houston is uh, once again a Baltimore Raven. It was a move that needed to be done. The Ravens could not have gone to the season, I think, without signing one, maybe even two more uh, guys outside linebacker. I think they still could sign another player. But Justin Houston needed to be done. It was a necessity, and the Ravens got it done. So if the Ravens, so if we see weaknesses on the team, right? Obviously, the Ravens organization sees it as well. They knew that they needed outside linebacker, and they knew that Justin Houston was the guy that they wanted. So they got Justin Houston. So um, I'm expecting big things um, from this Ravens defense. Uh, regardless of my concerns with the edge rush, I think they're still going to be good enough to make plays, still good enough to get sacks and pressures on the QB. Um, I just hope that there's enough rotation so the guys don't get worn out and dragged out. I, I, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but I'm very happy with the signing. Uh, Justin Houston being a Baltimore Raven, it's a good thing for the Ravens. This defense that was already good, already scary, just got scarier. And um, he had, like I said, he had a really good grade last year. 77.8 PFF grade, top 20 amongst edge rushers. So the Ravens not only got a veteran, they got a quality veteran. So good sign all around. Can't say enough about it. It needs to be done, and then the Ravens got it done. That's the most important thing. So um, that's my thoughts on the sign of Justin Houston. Uh, it's your boy Gabriel. This is another fan TV. I'm out.